Hello and welcome to today's video. Today I'm re reviewing this fountain pen. This is the Muji fountain pen or the Muji aluminium fountain pen. The name kind of gives away what the pen is made of. It is a metal uh, pen, super lightweight, uh, super affordable and available from the Japanese retailer Muji. Now, if you're not familiar with Muji, firstly, you should be because Muji is kind of awesome. Uh, Muji is a Japanese retailer that specializes in sort of like minimalist, no fuss stuff, pretty decent prices. Their stationery brand is quite interesting. The paper is fountain pen friendly. They have a wide range of different line rulings and all of that sort of stuff in a wide range of books. Uh, the gel pens are great. And this is the fountain pen. This pen came as a bit of a surprise to me. I like Muji products, uh, but when I tried this pen, I was surprised very, very pleasantly. Um, I've had this pen a couple of years and just choosing to review it now uh, because I actually do think it deserves a bit more attention. Uh, I use mine, this one, uh, for artwork quite a lot. Uh, so let's talk about the parts and features of the pen, writing samples, specs, all that sort of stuff, and then we'll do a pros and cons. Okay, let's get started. So top of the pen, you get this little like hard rubber insert there on the top little ring uh, the clip comes out of that the clip is functional springy uh, you know does the job the cap ends here that's where it uncaps then we get the knurled section which is on the barrel of the pen and then cylindrical all the way down to the end where we get another one of those rubber spots you see a little ring just on the inside of the barrel there that is where the pen trying to do it around the camera posts it posts into that groove, um, making it a pretty decent length pen. That is the same way the pen caps into a groove in there that you can see. Um, and it is a pretty no fuss pen. It's great. It is standard international cartridge or converter. At the moment, I have a um, cartridge in there. Uh, Graphon Faber Castell Royal Blue. I tend to use this with cartridges. When I'm using it for artwork, it's black ink, uh, and I use um, a number of different sort of either permanent or uh, washable inks uh, for that use. Um, one thing I love about this pen is when you put a converter in, it feels really secure, a uh, cartridge, sorry, it feels really solid when you click it in. Uh, it, there's no feeling like it is going to sort of buckle or anything underneath that which some pens do like even a Lamy Safari when you put a cartridge in there you do feel like it could go either way. Um, this knurled section is really interesting because the entire pen is cylindrical um, at about a one centimeter or ten millimeter uh, diameter all the way down there's the knurled section is actually important it stops the pen being slippery and makes it very very comfortable. Also the length of the pen is very comfortable uh, if you because you can't hold it down on the end here you do get a decent length away from the page uh, with your fingers because it is a smaller nib. It's made by Schmidt, so it's a German-made nib. This is a fine. Um, so it's a European fine as opposed to a Japanese fine, even though it is a Japanese pen. So it's made by Schmidt. Um, but this section is very comfortable, and the length of the pen uh, is very comfortable in the hand without posting, uh, but it does post very securely and comfortably and uh, the balance doesn't change. The balance, of most of the weight of the pen is in uh, the in the fingers. Um, so that's the pen. That's the parts and features. You can't eyedropper this pen, it's metal. It will take a converter, um, either a small uh, standard international, or I haven't tried any like a, a full Schmidt um, number, you know, K5 converter in here, but I ha don't have any doubt it would fit. It's good. It's a really solid pen and it's super reliable and transportable. And because it is fairly affordable, the pen comes in at around 20 US dollars at Muji. Uh, you are writing with a pen that is affordable, replaceable, easily available. So let's talk size comparisons now. Two fountain pens to compare it to. Another aluminium pen, the Lamy All-Star. You can see it's on par for length there and the Twisby Eco. So it comes in at a pretty sort of standard length. And if we take the Safari and we uh, uncap them there, you can see it's a little bit shorter, but uh, it's still a pretty decent length pen. Posted, it's a little shorter again, 
uh, but because this pen is a good length, you can either write with it posted or unposted without any issue whatsoever. If you look at it in the hand, uh, posted it is quite long, but the weight of the pen is very much not in the cap. The sp actual specs for this pen, um, it's 137 millimeters when posted, a uh, cap, sorry, 126 when it is unposted, so it's an okay length when you hold it on that knurled section there and nothing rubbing on the webbing of the hand or anything like that. Uh, and when it is capped, it is 162. So pretty long. Uh, as I said, it's 10 millimeters from, you know, on all of the body of the pen. The weight of the pen is about 20 grams. So quite light, uh, especially for a metal pen. 15.5 uh, of that is in the barrel and 4.5 of that is in the cap. So you're definitely not back weighting the pen when you post it for writing. I have some standard Clairefontaine paper here, uh, so let's do a writing sample. And as I said, the ink is Graph from Faber-Castell. Royal blue. So you can hear there's a little bit of feedback on it, but it's not rough, it's not scratchy at all. In fact, it's fairly smooth and it writes really well under its own weight, which is really nice. It is a rigid nib, it is not flexing at all. Like if you push it, you just put more ink down. It's not springy, it's 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 stiff. It's a Standard steel Schmidt nib. Um, reverse writing. It's possible, makes it very, very fine. And then fast writing. Like, totally legible, not the point. But this pen just keeps up and keeps up and uh, in fact it writes really really well. Wetness, it's not the wettest pen um, but certainly uh, wet enough. As I said I use this for uh, artwork so I sketch with it and I do uh, ink art with it so I'll put a like a, a coloured ink in there and sketch and then play with the you know with water uh, with a water brush pen on the ink and so it lays down enough ink for all of those purposes. Pros and cons for the Muji aluminium fountain pen. Let's start with the cons. It is slim. At 10 millimeters, it's not super slim, uh, but it doesn't feel like a big pen in your hand at all. The other issue is that it doesn't come with a converter. Not so much an issue at this price, although there are cheaper pens that do come with converters, um, but because it is standard international, they are readily available from different brands, uh, so it's not too hard to get one. In fact, one I have in here quite a lot is just this simple push-pull converter from Fountain Pen Revolution. Very simple. The pros for this pen. Let's start with the price. As I said, it's about 20 US dollars, so it puts it in a much lower price point than uh, a lot of the other entry-level pens on the market, and it is just as reliable. It's got a nice German-made nib on it. The nib is smooth. It is generous on the page. It is Reliable, 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 reliable. Like massive, massive pro with this pen. Um, the size of the pen is a pro. Uh, the length in the hand is really nice. It's not so big that you feel like you're holding a massive pen and it's not small enough, so small that you're pinching on it. You can use this for longer periods without any issue whatsoever. This is a really good everyday writer pen. As I said, I use it for artwork and I really love it for that purpose. The other pro with a pen like this is that it is from Muji. Muji is an international retailer. So there are Muji stores in a lot of countries um, and a lot of those have online presence. And also this pen is available from, um, how shall I say it? Uh, secondary market sellers as well uh, for still pretty reasonable prices. Uh, but if you have a Muji store near you or that does online uh, you know, shopping near you, this is a really 
nice pen and because it is so available uh, i think it is definitely worth trying i love the finish i love that sort of al that i don't know if it would be considered brushed aluminium but that sort of matte aluminium finish the slight contrast with like some of the differences of the the treatment of the clip and things like that are really nice the knurling i think is a nice accent as well as a functional purpose i just think this is a really high quality pen at a really reasonable price uh and muji are known for their quality and the quality of their products and i think this stands up uh, and i actually think this stands up alongside pens that cost a considerable amount more it doesn't feel cheap it might look simple and look unadorned but in a way that's part of its charm so this is the muji aluminium fountain pen i hope you found this video interesting and useful if you did give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel hit the notifications button if you want to stay up to date with the videos that i produce please feel free to get in touch using any of the platforms listed below you can find me on instagram or twitter at the underscore offstage underscore me or you can contact me on any of my videos here or drop me an email which is listed down below if you've got products you think I should be looking at, or if there's a way you'd like to support the channel by sponsoring a review or providing an item for review, I would love to hear from you. In the meantime, enjoy your pens, enjoy writing, and I'll talk to you soon.